This is Lockjaw. No, that's a southern fried version of Bigfoot. Every backwoods town has one, man. I think we done faked this up a monster or something, huh? Easy, old timer. I'm not insulting Swamp Bigfoot here. It's not like it's real or anything. You know it's real when it up and take a chunk out your ass. My name is Fred Andrews, and I'm the writer-director of Blood is Blood, a uh, new over-the-top uh, monster film. Started writing a graphic novel uh, based off of a, uh, a creature that, uh, that lived in the swamps, and um, the novel was going um, from the creature's perspective. The project uh, came to me through a friend, and uh, I liked the project. I took it to my friend Sid Shankberg. I worked at Universal under him for 12 years, and we had a lot of fun together. And I had a chance to meet uh, the director. Uh, I rather instantly uh, was taken with his skill and his ability to communicate. Blood is blood. All we need is our own kind. Grover, we all got to do what we told. No. It's the... The world that, that, that we've created here is one that is very much uh, symbiotic relationships between three families. Um, and sometimes in any kind of you know, symbiotic relationship, the, the host eventually dies. Hey, Oscar, where are we? Shortcut. Yeah, I, I get that, shortcut. But uh, where are we? We're outside of Fort Collins, man. It's a very multi-layered film that on the surface uh, starts with one of the most uh, contrived um, you know pieces of genre you can have uh, you know five kids friends family uh, out on a trip might as well say you know, spring break uh, going on a road trip and taking the wrong turn actually we're not on this map we haven't been on this map since I-77 so can you help me out so you have these six characters who are just going down to New Orleans to send off um, my fiance's brother Randy because he's about to go to Afghanistan to fight and, you know, they're just trying to have a good time. And I'm, my character's along for the ride, and he, they run into this thing that goes bump in the night. Guided tours of Lockjaw Country, $5. Go it alone, your funeral. Man, this is awesome. I love this. No legend, son. It's a local legend. It's told around these parts. It's strictly a Louisiana tale. Lockjaw uh, is a character much like um, John Gardner's Grindel, which is uh, my favorite book, which is Beowulf from Grindel's perspective. There's a huge backstory where I came from, who I was before, how I became Lockjaw. The, the key to a good monster movie and, and it being more than just a slasher flick is having a good mythology, having a good background, and having characters that people care about. Blood is blood. Lockjaw is kind of a, uh, an idol or a demigod, if you will, um, because that's what he was supposed to be. He don't join your... A fucking animal? He ain't no animal. He the grand senor, the true god. And as far as the mythology of the creature, uh, I think he's incredibly uh, organic to the location that we're shooting in. Shooting in... Uh, Baton Rouge, we're uh, on a bayou setting. There's a lot of scary things here that are indigenous to it, but this thing walks, talks, and is very scary. So you can read into maybe what you think this creature looks like and what its mythology is. The idea of Lockjaw, this sort of half man, half alligator kind of thing, uh, it's very interesting, especially having never been to the south and, and getting a chance to be out here in the swamps. Uh, is it possible that something could exist out here that we, we don't know about? Y yeah. I feel being here in the bayou, shooting in the swamp, and like I said earlier, they were really worried about me going in the water. And I said, guys, come on, let me do this. This is awesome. They wanted a stunt guy to do it. I said, no, please let me do it. And also, he's been in a lot of mud. So that's really fun. You know, at the end of the day, when we've just put in 18 hours, we get to clean mud off of a really expensive creature suit and try to have it dry by the next day. I think that it's helped on so many levels to be here uh, because certainly with cast and performances, it's they're 
they're really in it. Uh, everything that you see uh, in the film, um, from the creature and, and the environments, is that's 100% uh, real. I've shot in Louisiana before, but I've never actually shot in the swamp. And when I say in the swamp, I was in the swamp. Like, I was in the swamp water. And it, it's slimy. It's, it feels like yogurt and tofu mixed together. It's not a good feeling. When you're actually in the swamp, when you're actually lying on mud and dirt and, you know, seeing bugs crawl, your imagination doesn't have to go too far. You know, you really, you're really in that situation. And you've had places where you like, can't go in the water right now, there's an 11-foot alligator. It, it, it does do these things that these characters are actually going through. So I, I prefer this, you know, I prefer being on location uh, as opposed to a soundstage. Oh, so much better than shooting in a soundstage, you know, because now, I mean, when you have to slosh through the mud and slip and slide and do all that stuff, it, it now makes it all real, you know. On location in Baton Rouge has been very humid. And dear God, why do so many bugs exist? It's insane how many bugs there are. I didn't know so many species existed. Everything about being here in the swamps adds to the elements. I've gotten snagged by a, a briar or two and definitely have some bug bites to show for, for my time down here. And the movie's got a lot of elements in it that uh, will be troubling to people. Uh, and that's what makes it special. There's uh, there's some girl on girl action. There's some incestuous stuff, you know, brother sister, which is freaking hot. I think this steps up, and um, it's just not your run of the mill monster. It just gives you something you wouldn't expect, and it takes it to another level that isn't just a guy in a suit and the typical characters that you find on a road trip. And it kind of takes that story, but it adds flesh to it. So it all kind of interweaves into this story, and I think from a commercial standpoint, it will pay off too. I think people will really respond to that. I think in many ways this is a very unique movie, and I hope it has an opportunity to be seen and judged that way. For a long time, what you don't see is what scares you uh, until there's finally the reveal. Um, so yeah, there's, I mean, there's a lot of suspense, a uh, good amount of gore, and, uh, and you know, I think a, a good scare in there, too. You have no idea what a real monster looks like.